Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today I've got a quick little lick of the week for you. Now I haven't done a lick of the week for quite some time, so I'm going to start this series up again. So this one's going to be a way of using hybrid picking and slurs to speed up a common, you know, pentatonic lick. Now you've probably seen this pentatonic lick before, which is kind of a descending or ascending sequence in threes. Now typically that's alternate picked. And that's a good sound. You want to make sure you got that down too, because it's very percussive sounding. But it's kind of difficult to get really, really fast if you want a more fluid, fast sequence. So this way you can do that pretty easily. Now what I'm going to be doing is this. I'm going to just show you this lick on two strings and then you can just take it across the basic pentatonic pattern. Now make sure you grab the tab from this. There's an annotation or a link in the description um, that will take you to the page so you can download the tab for this. Now we're going to have a first going to start with a downstroke. We're going to do the descending version first. You're going to pick a note and then pull off. Now I'm going to not worry about picking my next note with a downstroke as well on a different string because that pull off gave us some time. So that's pulling off 8 to 5 and then come to 8 on the B string. Alright, so that's our first three notes. Now we want to grab the next note down in the scale and go three notes down from that as well. So what we're going to do here, instead of having to do a quick string crossing with alternate picking, we're going to do that down pick there on the B string and then use our middle finger to pick that fifth fret on the high E string and then come back down with your down stroke here to pull off 8 to 5 on the B. So, so far we have this. If you're not sure with the picking, make sure you follow the tab. It's right on there. So we have this and that's a lick. And then we're going to start it again. Since the, it's the same number of notes on each string, you can do that same lick starting now on the B string. So make sure you follow along with the pattern of the scale in the left hand, then the two middle strings, and all the way down. Now we're going to reverse the pattern on the way up. So we're one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, so how we're going to do that is a little bit different. You're really going to hang out and do just two string sets at a time. Whenever you cross strings, you're definitely going to be using hybrid picking. So we're going to start with a hammer on from eight, a 5 to 8, and then hybrid pick with the middle finger there, that 5th fret on the A string. Then come back and get the next, the next first note of the group of 3. And when you do that, you can do it with a downstroke and then hybrid pick again that five and hammer on the seven. So we have this downstroke, hammer, hybrid, downstroke, hybrid, hammer. And then take that across the strings. Alright, so it's a really quick way of getting across this, that same little popular pentatonic lick, uh, but changing up the sound a little bit. You can add more speed to it after you get the hang of the hybrid picking, if you're not used to hybrid picking yet at least. Um, and then adding the slurs, it gives it a completely different sound. Obviously it's more, um, it's a lot smoother sounding, but it's a lot easier to play as well. Now obviously since it's hybrid picking, it's just as easy really to skip strings. <laughs> You know, so it's just as easy in the for the right hand picking. This picking is exactly the same. I'm just skipping a string in between, and it's no problem when there's hybrid picking. Now, if you alternate picking, that'd be almost impossible to get fast. All right, so I hope you guys can do this. You can do this with all your pentatonic forms since they all use two notes per string, the standard pentatonic shapes, and take these licks across the strings, ascending and descending, and see if you can throw it in some of your solos. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.